Good morning. Blessed greetings, friend. This is Pastor Vince back with you once again for your daily manna for today, February 21st. You know, the past couple of days, we've been looking at these uh, questions concerning Christ's second coming, and we've already answered a couple questions with the help of the Bible. Uh, yesterday, we looked at how, or I should say, why will he come? We looked at why will he come, and the day before that, we looked at how will he come? So we looked at how will he come and why will he come? Today, we want to look at one other important question. And that question is, how may we be ready? So I hope you're convinced by now from hearing me say many times on this podcast, and you may have heard other people say it too, that, hey, Jesus is coming. We're living in the last days. We need to get ready. So I hope and pray that you're convinced of that by now. But having looked at those two questions that we've looked at so far, I hope you're even more convinced that Jesus is coming and he's coming soon. But now is the time to consider how may we be ready. So just like before, I'd like you to grab something to write with, something to write on. And we're going to look at some Bible verses to support the answer to this question. How may we be ready? So the first point, we can come to him. We can come to him. And your Bible uh, reference is John 6, verse 37. Now, here's something else to remember. If we are to be accepted by Christ when he comes, he must be accepted by us now. One great reason he has not already come is that there are still honest souls to be saved. So, uh, Christ's second coming is is not here yet, of course, but he's waiting for other people to be saved. He's, he's giving many other people a chance to, uh, to make it right with him, to get their lives together, because we need to understand, as I've said many times before as well, that when Christ comes, there's not going to be any time to, uh, you know, to make things right. To, you know, there's not going to be a chance for do-overs. There's not going to be any second chances, friends. So he's giving all of us time to make it right with him before he comes, because when he comes, it's going to be too late. So again, we can come to him. And our Bible reference is John chapter 6, verse 37. Number two, we can live for him as did Paul. We know the story of the apostle Paul. We know he was Saul before he became Paul. And we know that story. So we can live for him like Paul did. Your reference is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. And remember also, concerning this point, that mere profession of Christianity or church membership is not enough, friend. It's not enough to say, oh, I belong to a church. Oh, I'm a Christian. I love God. I belong to such and such church. That's not enough, friend. Now, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 1, verse 21, for me to live, or I should say, for me to live is Christ. This is what Paul said. He said, once again, I'll say it. For me to live is Christ. That's the Apostle Paul from Philippians 1 and 21. So your second point is we can live for him like Paul did. Number three, we can seek to be like him. We can seek to be like him. Number four, we can look for him. And uh, did I give you the Bible verse? I did not. I'm sorry. Let me jump back. We can seek to be like him. And your Bible verse is 1 John chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. All right, now we can move to the next point. We can look for him. According to Hebrews chapter 9, verses tw- uh, verse 28. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28. And lastly, we can love his appearing. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. So let me just go through these points again, which help us answer the question, from the Bible, that is, how may we be ready? We can come to him, according to John 6 and 37. We can live for him as Paul did, according to 2 Timothy 4, verses 7 and 8. We can seek to be like him, 1 John chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. We can look for him, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28. And we can love his appearing, 2 Timothy 4, verse 8. So, friend, those are the three questions that we're going to consider or we have considered uh, concerning Christ's second coming. Um, If you missed those other two questions that we uh, looked at, 
please scroll back to uh, the previous episodes, the episode from yesterday and the day before. So uh, today is Wednesday. So go back to uh, yesterday was Tuesday and the day before that was Monday, of course. Right. So, uh, yeah. So go back to Monday and Tuesday to uh, listen to what we talked about concerning those other two questions. We looked at how will he come and why will he come? All right. So that's it, friend. That's all we're going to talk about today concerning Christ's second coming. The Bible just helped us to answer another question, another question that's very important to consider. And if I was just to sum all this up, um, we need to be ready. You know, we to know uh, we need to know that he is coming and we do understand that he is coming. But um, we, but now we should have a, a better understanding of, you know, you know, how will he come? You know, what you know, what would that look like? How will he come? Why is he coming? Or how or how will he come? I should say, why will he come? And then how may we be ready? So I hope that was helpful for you today. Please go back over what we talked about because it's critical that we get ready and stay ready. Please join me tomorrow for more of Your Daily Manna. Have a great day.